Travis van Niekerk a few days ago. And now he's in intensive care, kept alive by machines. And the lives of his parents turned around. They must just go into the ICU now and see where my kid's lying. I've got a, I've got a view of hell. The anguish, you can't explain it. You can't explain the anguish that we've been through in these last couple of days. To see your son tilting on the, the brink of death. <laughs> it's heartbreaking to see him fighting the um, pipe and gagging and the vomit and the seizures to a point that he's that he lose consciousness. It's hell. It's believed someone slipped something into his drink. After complaining that he wasn't feeling well, he began vomiting and convulsing and was rushed to hospital. Rape-wise, South Africa says drink spiking is widespread. Men are increasingly being targeted. And there's an increase in associated crimes like rape. In this case, they used a barbiturate, which is almost a, a general anesthetic used by medical doctors. And the symptoms here would be loss of consciousness, battling to breathe, and in some cases, even death. This, these drugs are so dangerous that it could be very similar to a drug that is used in an assisted suicide. The funny characters have opened a case of attempted murder. Chris Alder Lewis, SABC News, Johannesburg.